afternoon. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Woo! My name is Joel Sink, and I am a course director in the Digital Art and Design program. And I am Dan Walker, and I'm also a course director at the back end of the program. How are my people's doing? Woo! Awesome. Let's get this thing started. So we got some great people to introduce to you. Let's have a round of applause for Paola Beltran. <laughs> Tierra Humphreys. And Efren Rojas. Welcome. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Really happy to have you guys here. So how's this experience been for you guys? Long. Very <laughs> long. Very long. Um, yeah. It's been a lot of hard work, but I think it's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. we, cre we created great memories, and I think that's very important. So, yeah. Totally agree. It's been a really cool thing to watch you guys. I had you in my class for the first time about a year ago and then this past month as well. And you guys have a really great friendship, but you also have this great kind of very subtle competition there, that which is makes your work, I think it makes your work better, and it makes you guys really, really good people. So, yeah. cool, thank you. So without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start off with our first presenter today, who is going to be Paola. So, if you would like, I'm gonna pull up the pictures of your family, and if you wanna tell us a little bit about these guys and how you ended up here, that would be awesome. Okay, well, there's my family, uh, my mom's part of the family that's actually right there sitting. Hi, thank you for the support, <laughs> I love you guys. Um, and the Creates family, which is sitting right in front of here, like I love you guys, my boyfriend, and my dog. Um, I ended up full cell, I had no idea where I was heading um, when I uh, was graduating, two weeks before I gradu uh, before graduation, full cell came to my school and they talked about the digital arts and design program and I was sold. I absolutely love art. I've been doing art all my life, so that was just amazing. That was, and I don't regret it. I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at your very first project. Invention, Mr. Power Loader. Thomas Edison said something like that once. So, Paula, why don't you tell us a little bit about when you actually started falling in love with 3D? Wow. Well, uh, for I think it was my second 3D class, mixed class. Um, we had to do this project, and at first I wasn't very excited because um, 3D scares me a little bit. Um, but um, once I started animating and creating everything that I like, wanted to build and actually making it happen, adding the materials and creating everything, honestly, just like I fell in love with it, and I think that's just my passion. I absolutely love it. And how do you feel about the render farm? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> some days you love it and some days you hate it, right? Yes. So Efren and Tira, you guys have been working with Paola for a couple years now. What, what are some qualities that you guys have noticed about her that kind of make her amazing? Um, Paula is very loving. She's very caring. She cares about everyone around her. Um, she's also a very big heart worker. Like she stresses so much, but it's okay. It's okay, <laughs> trust me. So we came really far and she did it too. So. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Paula, you're very sweet and your work is always super creative and I admire your work. And Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. Cool. You want to take a look at your next project? Yeah. Let's do it. When you came into P Final Portfolio, you had kind of this sort of 
headed in the right direction, but this yeah. has really come a long way in the past month. Yeah, I decided to apply everything that I learned throughout my journey at Full Sail and just put it all here. I love space. I love neon bright colors. I like futuristic looking things. So I just put it all together and just in one big project. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and move on to project number three. Thank you for capturing my dance moves. <laughs> I call him Dancing Floofy Guy. Yeah, it's Dancing Floofy Guy. So, so where did this come from? Um, okay, so I follow a lot of Instagram 3D designers and everything, and they usually have like a dancing sushi man, a dancing pizza man, and I wanted to try it. <laughs> and I was bored while one of my projects, actually Hatsumis Gadgets was rendering. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try to do my little Floofy Man. Um, I started in Mitch class and I posted it on Instagram and everybody loved it. So I decided to just make it bigger and better. Cool. Really, really awesome work there. You want to play your demo reel? Of you course. All right, this is Paula's demo reel. <laughs> That wasn't bro. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> We've been teasing Paula because she's been just a little teeny bit nervous, but. Very much so. <laughs> and there's no crying today, right? No crying today. I did my makeup on purpose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are very happy to say that our next presenter is going to be Tiara Humphreys. <laughs> so just like I asked you guys about Paula, what do you guys have some things to say about Tiara? What kind of makes her work special? What has this experience of getting to know her been like? She's very creative. Uh, she's very hardworking and a great friend. Uh, she always has like new ideas and she always like comes to us. She's like, hey, I did this and I have an idea for this. She actually, when we started with the theme for our, grad, uh, for our showcase, she came up with all these ideas and like it was just, she's very creative, very, very talented. Yes, your work ethic is really great, and your style as well is Thank awesome. You. I really <laughs> admire it also. Thank you so much, guys. So, Tiara, I'm going to put up the pictures of your family and your, your kind of your history here. So if you want to talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm from Maryland. This is my family. They're here with me today, all of them. Um, I have my dog. I have my dad, my stepfather, my brother. He's here. I have my boyfriend. I also have my best friend, Karen, because she's been here for me since I've been in Florida. <laughs> um, and I have my sister also up here. So, Yeah, thank you guys for your support. And I'm so happy that you're here. <laughs> yeah. So I have a really quick story. So I, I met T uh, a couple months ago. We were doing a uh, instructor showcase. And I put uh, random passes or tickets underneath the desk. And I said, whoever has one of these tickets, you know, come on up after the showcase, and uh, I'll work with you on a freelance project. So T actually got one. Yeah. She came down, <laughs> and uh, she introduced herself. And right away, I, I knew that she was uh, just an amazing uh, person, energy. But then when I started working with her uh, on a freelance project, I knew that she definitely had uh, the skills and the professional attitude to really make it. So 
thank you for uh, you. <laughs> for doing a great job. Thank you. So let's take a look at your first project. Love will be sweet when it has no stain of pretense. Love is sweeter when it adds up gradually. Gradually, like continuous drops of rain on a land parched. So talk to us about this project. One of the things that I've noticed about you is that you're an amazing storyteller. And you're telling me a story with this. So talk a little bit about that. Um, so basically, this project is me. It's just a sense of calmness. I wanted to create something that wasn't too much, just very calm, because this was a stressful time when I made this. <laughs> um, it is called Purity, and the poem is about love and being pure and stuff in the world, so. Beautiful work. It's your second project. get on you about that ball bounce. Oh, really? Okay, Dan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you went from this really soothing kind of zen-like thing to like really straight on advertising and that mm -hmm. says a lot about your style and your ability to kind of shift gears like that. What was the concept for this? Um, so the concept for this, I wanted to create an advertisement for a soft drink. So I thought about Coke products and their commercials and stuff like that. Um, a lot of this, uh, well, the idea for this overall project was a travel through time. So, um, the so the soda starts off, and I believe like the nineteen twenties. <laughs> we'll go um, with that. You, you stay here. This is her home. We'll be relocating her to somewhere where she can be watched for her own safety. It'll be what's best. I still remember how it felt. Beginning born from bittersweet ends. No strangers becoming friends. There's love if you let it. There's gold if you bet it. Like I said, you're a storyteller. <laughs> so we talked a little bit about this project. Do you want to share a little bit about where this comes from? Um, so basically, this project is just um, from everything I observe or absorbed from society and stuff like gun violence, stuff like that. So I was definitely trying to go for why this is a bad thing, why this shouldn't be something in the world. So yeah. I just love how you, uh, you just took your time with it. You didn't rush it, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. We're going to move on to your demo reel.
great work there. And again, I have a little bit of a story like on when you were in my first class in Intro to Motion Graphics. It was like week one, you were kind of like, okay, this is all right, you did some stuff. It's like somebody lit a fire under you between <laughs> week two and three, and you never looked back, and I'm really proud of you for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. So next up, I'm really happy to introduce oops, Ephraim Rojas. Let me get his name back up there. So Paola and, and uh, Kira, if you guys want to tell a little bit about some of the things that you would like to kind of share about Ephraim, Ephraim and, and some of the things you've noticed about him over the past Definitely. years. Definitely. So Ephraim came along later during our time here. Me and Paula have been here for a while. So then Ephraim came and we're like, who is this guy? He does not talk to us. Like, who is he? he and so, so yeah, he was so quiet. And then we saw his work and I was like, wow, he's amazing. He's a hard worker. He gets things done. Like Ephraim would spend so much time on one thing, but it also looks really good when he's finished with it. Yeah, so. and you're very inspirational. Ephraim. He is very, very inspirational. inspirational. Thank you. <laughs> but he's also his own worst critic, aren't you? <laughs> Sometimes you beat yourself up on yeah. a lot of things, don't you? So I've got your family and your friends up here. If you want to talk a little bit about how you got here and who some of these folks are. Yes, definitely. So all of these people that are up here um, were part of my journey. I know that I can definitely count on them for encouragement. And um, I have my partner um, up there, Sean, to the left. And then my family's over to the right and, and friends. And all of these people have been very supportive and I couldn't have done it without them. And of course, my puppy, Oliver. <laughs> He's a great emotional support dog, so love him. Cool. So we're going to jump into your first project here. So I kind of look at you and I go, this is the guy who absolutely loves bright, vivid, tropical colors. So talk a little bit about this project. Yes, I do love colors a lot. Um, with this particular project, I was inspired by the vaporwave style. And I also had a lot of palm trees because coming from Chicago, that's not something that we see there very often. So that kind of inspired me to include some of those in this project. And um, yeah, it's a good time. Turned out beautiful. Thank you. We're going to move on to project number two here. I know you had a lot of challenges with this one, uh, and you have a love-hate relationship with the render farm as well. <laughs> um, tell us a little about uh, the idea of how this came to be. Yes, this was from our 3D motion class, and um, we had to create a project that was inspired by a film. And um, I was really inspired by the animated film Atlantis. I wanted to take some of those elements and create this with it. And um, it was in 3D, so that was a challenge. But um, through that challenge, I was able to learn a lot and grow a lot as a 3D artist. Beautiful work here. Love that water and that sphere. We're going to move on to your next project. All around the world. No matter the distance, we create connections, share, and stream online. Follow your spark with unlimited data. Wow. The voiceover really did help him. Thank you. Thank you. I've been watching this project for two months straight, and that voiceover really. Yeah, it all started in your class. Yeah. It was definitely a process. I think it takes time to be able to create something that you can be really proud of. But I can thank uh, you and, and Joel as well for always pushing me to do my best. All I got to say is it's tight. It's good. <laughs> so we're going to move on to your demo reel, sir. I'm not 
Amazing work from you, Ephraim. So what we'd like to do at this point is we'd like to go ahead and bring up the, uh, the rest of the graduating class for October 2019. So this is everybody. This is Paola, Naomi, if you want to come on up. Sierra, Brandon, are you here? Come on up, Brandon. And Ephraim. Stand up. We're on stand up yeah, here. Stand up. We're gonna make, we're not make you guys stand up there and be awkward oh here. Boy. So we're just gonna kind of move over here, let you guys squeeze in a little bit tighter. So uh, we want to thank a couple of people here. We want to thank Paula and Tierra for working on the. Paula did the uh, the whole class demo reel that we're gonna play in just a second. And Tierra worked on a lot of the graphics that you see in here. So thanks to those two folks. And here we are with the demo reel for the entire class. You guys have been on this incredible journey and it's uh, kind of coming to a close, but a new journey is going to get started with you guys and we're really excited to see what you guys co have coming for us, okay? So. It has been an absolute honor to get to know you guys over the past year. Thank you for making every single time that I've spent time with you a lot of fun and really rewarding. So the best of luck to you. I know you guys are going to do wonderful things. So thank you guys for coming today. We sincerely appreciate it. Have a great evening. Happy Halloween. Thank you.